हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू क्लास नाइन जोग्राफी चैप्टर वन इंडिया साइज एंड लोकेशन इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द एंशियन सिविलाइजेशन इन द वर्ल्ड आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस इट हज अचीव ग्रेट सोशियो एकोनॉमिक प्रोग्रेस ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट सेवन डेकेट्स इट हज ऑल्सो अकम्पलिश्ड इनक्रेडिबल प्रोग्रेस इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंडस्ट्री टेक्नोलॉजी ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन मोर ओवर you know india has also contributed significantly to the making of the global world when you want to identify the geographical location of a country in the world it's very important to identify its latitudinal and longitudinal range if you look at the diagram you can find that the latitudinal range of the mainland of india extends between 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitudes so it's clearly evident that india lies completely on the northern hemisphere similarly in this diagram you can identify that the longitudinal range of the mainland extends between 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east longitudes you can also see that the tropic of cancer 23 and 1/2 degree north divides the country into almost two equal parts and there is a fact that the east west extent appears to be smaller than the north south extent as you know the size of a country means the total area of the country india is the seventh largest country in the world as you can see in the map the land mass of india has an area of 3.28 million square kilometers It's about 2.4 percent of the total geographical areas of the world. India has a land boundary of about 15,200 kilometers, and the total length of the coastline of the mainland is 7,516.6 kilometers, including Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep Islands. As you can see in the map, India has a varied topography and physical features. There are mountains in the northwest, north and northeast. The mainland tapers towards south. Indian Ocean dividing itself into two seas such as the Arabian Sea on the west and the Bay of Bengal in the east. The southernmost point of India was Indira Point in the Great Nicobar group of island and it is not visible today because it was submerged under the sea in 2004 due to tsunami. Arunachal Pradesh is called as the land of rising sun in India because in our country the sun rises first in the eastern most part of India that is Arunachal Pradesh from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh there is a time lag of 2 hours if you look at the map the standard meridian of India 82 degree 30 minutes east longitude is passing through Mirzapur that is in Uttar Pradesh it is considered as a reference point of indian standard time or ist the latitudinal extent also influences the duration of day and night as one moves from south to north similarly longitudinal extent will influence the time of one place to another for example if a person travels from washington dc to new delhi the time in india will be 9 hours and 30 minutes ahead of washington dc usa as i mentioned before in the case of india there is a time lag of 2 hours when we consider the actual time of gujarat and arunachal pradesh the indian landmass has a central location between the east and the west asia india is the second most populated country in the world as you are aware of india is a southward extension of the asian continent and the country is a peninsula as a maximum area of the land is surrounded by water it helps india to maintain its inland and overseas trade with other countries india is also referred to as a subcontinent because of its large area geographical diversities and physical features india also has a long coastline that enables the country to have many port cities and increased trade activities since long time these routes have contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times the ideas of the upanishads and the ramayana the stories of panchatantra the indian numerals and the decimal system thus could reach many parts of the world the spices muslin silk and other merchandise 
were taken from India to different countries. India occupies an important strategic position in South Asia. India has 29 states and 7 union territories. New Delhi is the capital territory of India. India shares its land boundaries with Pakistan and Afghanistan in the northwest. China is in the north. Nepal and Bhutan is in the northeast. Myanmar and Bangladesh are in the east. Our southern neighbors across the sea consist of two island countries, namely Sri Lanka and Maldives. India has a strong geographical and historical links with these neighboring countries. With this, we conclude this chapter. Now we'll refer some important questions from this chapter and find out their answers from your NCRD textbook as a part of your learning.